Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Now today in this video I will show you what is the main difference between software as a service or SaaS versus website as a service or WAS. Now these are basically two different things. So we have, if we scroll down, uh, as you can see website as a service is basically a subscription based pricing model for services like website design. Usually this is tailored just for the clients that need website design. Now think of it like an innovative business model for selling websites. It's that's, that's all it is. So it has like two types of pricing. So it has a high ticket pricing, which is usually $1,000 to $5,000 a month. And it also has a lower ticket pricing, which is usually $200 per month or even less where you get just website hosting domain or maybe an upsell like an SEO optimization for the website. This is what WAS or WAAS or website as a service is. Now on the other hand, we have SaaS or software as a service. Now this more so is geared or focused towards software. So it's a subscription based pricing model for softwares. Now the main difference between those two is that this is mainly for websites and usually it's kind of like a service based business model. While on the other hand, SaaS is more so geared towards softwares and only softwares. And this is usually more automated while this is not so automated because you have to deliver, um, you know, websites to your uh, clients. While on the other hand, SaaS, you just have to deliver the software that works in the backend for your clients or that your clients use directly. So it's basically a software that you pay for um, to save up your time and money in return. Usually it's a lower ticket uh, product. It's $50 per month because it's a subscription model that is tailored to help as many people as it could. They are playing more so on volume. So whenever you see SaaS, they're playing more on the volume while WAS is playing more on the quality. While it can also be played on the volume in the business game. When I say played on the volume, I mean, uh, you know, on WAS or on SaaS, sorry, you can have a lot more clients at a lower ticket price because it's a lower ticket price. While on the other hand, on WAS, you can work with uh, a lot of like bigger businesses that, you know, need your service, a high ticket service. So basically a, an example of WAS is Design Joy. So this is an example of website as a service. So if you go and if we click on C plans, we can see they, ha they have like a $5,000 per month pricing. This is a high ticket pricing model and this is everything that is included. So there are, you know, giving you unlimited brands, website development, um, unlimited stock photos, unlimited users, and you can pause or cancel anytime. This is more so geared towards agencies and bigger corporations that need this will purchase this particular membership. On the other hand, we have SaaS or software as a service, which is usually something like this. It's a software. This is Buffer. This is a way to schedule your social media posts. So this is more so geared toward, uh, you know, solving a specific problem. And, uh, you know, on the other hand, you have like a WAS that is solving also a specific problem, but usually it's a website thing. So it's a, a website service type thing, right? Where you're getting websites, you're, you know, getting pretty much everything for websites. That's why it's called website as a service and, and SaaS is called software as a service. Now, how can you start these two models with one simple tool? You can actually use go high level. This is a platform where you can start, um, you know, building out WAAS or software as a service. So website as a service and software as a service. You can build them through this platform. So let's say you want to uh, start a uh, you know, website as a service. You can go to reselling and you can resell WordPress as a service. So you can actually go and resell it for a specific price. Now I need to connect Stripe here to be able to show you the entire thing, but you will be able to go here and you will be able to resell this service. So you don't have to do anything. Go High Level is doing everything for you. You just have to resell this service and find customers that need that service. So that's website as a service. You also have a software as a service. You don't have to build your own software. Go High Level has all the softwares you need right here. If we go to uh, SaaS configurator here 
and if we go here as you can see you can connect stripe but if we go to reselling you would be able to go to marketplace apps and you would be able to resell software as a service or other softwares that go high level already has so basically these are called white label softwares you can use those softwares like for example this one click on them and you would be able to slap on your own logo on those softwares and you would be able to resell them for a specific price and you would take all the profit in between right so if go high level charges uh, you know fifty dollars right here you can charge this hundred dollars or hundred fifty dollars and you would have fifty to hundred dollars profit on this particular uh, on this particular tool or on this particular SaaS so we have a lot more tutorials on this however this is in a nutshell how you can go and sell website as a service and sell software as a service and we also um, you know describe what WAS is and what SAS is as well so if you want to know more you can check out our 30-day free trial down below uh, on go high level and you can also go and uh, check out our other videos that are uh, you know teaching about this specific topic so thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video